Looking for a 10 meter wire antenna that's easy to build, works great for local communications as well as DX and it's portable. Stick with me. Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT. Welcome to the channel. Well, today we're going to build a wire J-pole for 10 meters. And the reasoning behind that came as a few of us in our local club here had started a 10 meter net uh, once a week and we was looking for just local uh, ground wave communications. And we noticed our horizontal antennas were all over the place with uh, signal reports. And so we did notice some of the guys that had a vertical antenna going vertical to vertical had a much better signal and so sent us scrambling on the internet anything for a cheap easy to build antenna and nobody wanted to put a vertical in the grass with a whole bunch of radials or anything like that so um, one of the guys found a, uh, a j-pole antenna designed for 10 meters and we have built those many times this right here is a a two meter j pole antenna said so, well it, it can work for 10 it's just going to be bigger and uh, so we experimented and uh, actually already built one of them and me and the friend that built it uh, we tested it he liked it so well he kept it so I need to build another one and I thought we'd put this on video for everybody to see so uh, let's spread the stuff out on the table here and uh, we'll show you what we're doing well, there's not too many ingredients to this recipe today. Uh, you need some 450 ohm window line, uh, some 14 gauge stranded wire. You'll need about 17 foot of this. Uh, you'll need eight foot of the window line, uh, an end insulator, and if you got some old coax laying around, and that's about it. And and, and your soldering iron. So let's get to the table and take a look at the sheet that we found with the recipe. Okay, this is the recipe sheet. Comes straight off the internet. You can uh, search uh, 10 meter wire J pole and it came out. Uh, one of your first options, uh, I have to credit the ham here, N1LO. You'll have to search him on QRZ. <laughs> it's, uh, it's got a neat little site. But anyways, he built this a long time ago. He enjoys building antennas and been building them longer than I have. So, uh, like I said, we have built one already. And uh, if you follow these directions uh, exactly, it, it'll come out uh, pretty good. Uh, what you got here is 16 and a half foot of the main line. That's, that's your wire part of the antenna. Basically, that's a 10 meter uh, uh, half wave element there that you've got and the ladder line is 450 ohm and you need seven foot nine inches of that and uh, cut all these measurements exact because it this part right here is just to match the wire to bring it to 50 ohms or as close as you can so and he's got a choke ballon in here and a way to connect it. We're going to solder it right to the ladder line and uh, as you can see it's uh, there's not much to it and uh, I'm gonna lay it out here on the table and uh, start building it. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and solder the shorted end before I stretch it out because it's seven foot nine inches to the shorted area at the bottom. That should do it for the bottom. Okay, the directions say cut the matching stub seven foot nine inches from the shorted end. And I've already soldered up the shorted end. You got it laid down here on my shop floor so we can keep it flat and very accurate. Seven foot nine inches. We're gonna come Cut it about right here. Seven foot nine. I'm going to add a, just a quarter of an inch. 
that's going to help me fold over the wire. Time to solder up the antenna element here to the uh, to the window line, making sure to put kind of a hook in each one of those and solder this real good. Be some some amount of stress on that point right there. All right, let's put a little solder on this connection point. I usually add a little extra flux to these things. That thing getting hot. Okay, I think that'll hold it. And I can slip the heat shrink on from the other direction. I didn't forget it. That should hold it. The next step is to make a choke ballon five turns of four inches diameter. So. Uh, I'm trying to measure what four inches is, and it's about like that. So just make five turns to match that first measurement you made, and you want to keep them side by side, not not overlapping. It's so one, two, three, four, and five. Let me get some tape to put on that. Now that I've got the choke ballon made, five turns, four inches, using electrical tape and uh, some wire ties, the next step is to uh, strip the coax back. Uh, nothing fancy here, just uh, wind the uh, shield in one direction and the center connector in another direction. And what we're going to do is attach this. Uh, exactly six inches up from the bottom where it's shorted so this is this is six inches from the bottom that puts it uh, right here in the middle of this window so have to scrape back the insulation there and that is where we're going to attach each leg of the uh, coax and from what we learned on making the first one uh, you might not want to solder it first because you may have to adjust it up and down. That'll affect exactly where where it's going to be resonant. If it's uh, higher in the band or lower in the band, you're going to have to adjust that. So uh, I'm going to just kind of just wrap it on there and uh, test it before I solder it. Looking to get around uh, 28.4 is what we're shooting for. After my preliminary testing in the backyard, I found that my resonant point was up higher in the band than what I wanted to be. It was around 28.8, uh, maybe a little higher than that. So I went back through my measurements and found that I cut the ladder line a half inch short, maybe a little bit more. So six inches from the bottom where it's shorted, should put the connection about right here. I'm having to go a little bit lower uh, on my connection point and it tested out really good uh, SWR around 1.3 or so uh, on the uh, 28.400 so that's where I'm going to solder it Now that it's soldered, I'm going to coat the bare areas of the wire with this uh, liquid electrical tape. I haven't used it before, but uh, a buddy told me it works real good. So I'm going to give it a try. You can pick this up at Home Depot. Okay, I did not know this product was red, but that's okay. We're going to coat the wires. It takes about five minutes to dry. Get it in all the cracks, top and bottom. And it'll be just like putting the insulation back on there. You want to coat both sides of this, especially the coax shield and where it goes into the coax. This is something you just can't do with tape. Make that really good come back over here 
some of these other areas and uh, well I like this get that real good that way if you want to string it up in the yard and and leave it up well then you've got a uh, you've got it insulated there and I'm gonna also coat the uh, the shorted in here today is test day for the 10 meter J pole antenna and what a better day do I have to test it on uh, the ARRL a 10 meter contest is today so uh, we should be able to put some contacts in the log got my slingshot so let's get a line up over the tree that should be pretty good should work fine All right, this is the tree that I'm in. As you can see, I'm using uh, RG8X coax. I really didn't want to use it, but I had used my LMR400 for something else at the house. So we're going to test it out with this. The top of the wire is about 35 foot. So, hey, let's go with that and see what we can do. Let's check it out with the analyzer real quick before we get started. Uh, height above ground always matters, so let's take a look at it. Hey, hasn't changed much. Uh, it's uh, resonant at 28.550 with a SWR of 1.01 .01 right there. I'll, I'll put something better to look up than that, but... Uh, that's good. It's uh, 28400 is 1.3, so we can work with that. Let's get set up on the tailgate here and see uh, see if we can get some contacts. Thank you so much, Sam. Greetings. Thank you. Thank you, DX USA. Victor Eco, to Charlie, Sierra, India. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango booming. Five and nine zone two. Yeah, great signal into Georgia, 5-9 Georgia. Thank you so much, Georgia. Yankee contest, Whiskey Alpha 7, Yankee Alpha Zulu contest. Alpha Delta 4, X-Ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4, X-Ray Tango, 5-9 Utah. You are 5-9 in Georgia, thank you. Thank you, WA-7, Yankee Alpha Zulu contest. Thank you, Whiskey 7 Mike, Radio Fox contest. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango 59 Arizona. Uh, good 59 signal into Georgia. Thank you. Whiskey 7 Mike Radio Fox. Papa Yankee 2 Uniform Delta. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. EB4 XT 59593. QSL, you're 59 Georgia Golf Alpha. Thank you, QSL. <coughs> Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. DD4 X-ray Tango 59667. You're 59 Georgia. Thank you Tango India 1 Tango. You are a set. Call. Lima Uniform 7 Yankees for contact. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. Uh, hey thank you. You are 59069. 
0-6-9. Thank you. You're 5 9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. Thank you, Georgia. UCQ contest. Kilo 7, Japan Queen. Kilo 7, Japan Queen. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango. Thank you. 5 9, Arizona. 5 9, Georgia. Georgia, thank you. Kilo 7, Japan Queen. Contest. Wow. What a field test, and what a better time to do it than the ARRL. 10 meter contest. The uh, signals were really good. The 10 meter J pole antenna performed extremely well. Those were just a handful of the contacts. So just follow the directions and build you one. It's a great vertical antenna for DX and it's a great uh, vertical antenna for local communications. So either way, you've got a simple, easy antenna to build. So hey, uh, Put some comments. Tell me what kind of antenna you like for 10 meters. Uh, it's a single band antenna. That's all we was going after. Uh, great antenna. Can't say enough about it. Just build it. You'll be happy. I'm Steve, 84XT. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. And we'll catch you again on the next Ham Radio Portable. 73 everybody.